The question of whether self-deception can be a tool for personal growth transcends a simple yes or no answer. It delves into the complex labyrinth of the human psyche, where positive illusions and reframing narratives intertwine with the potential pitfalls of distorting reality. Let's embark on a deeper exploration, examining the potential benefits and drawbacks of each facet, weaving in the insights of prominent thinkers, and ultimately seeking a balanced approach to navigate this intricate terrain. Deep within the human psyche lies an inherent bias towards optimism, a melody whispered by our very biology. Psychologists like Martin Seligman have shown that individuals who favor an explanatory style leaning towards optimism, attributing good events to internal and stable factors, tend to achieve more and experience greater well-being. This inherent bias manifests in positive illusions, self-serving beliefs that inflate our abilities, confidence, and self-worth. These illusions act as a mental shield, protecting us from self-doubt and fueling the fire of motivation. Think of your mind as a battlefield, where two systems clash, System 1, the fast and intuitive warrior, and System 2, the slow and deliberate commander. As Daniel Kahneman reveals in his groundbreaking work Thinking, Fast and Slow, Positive illusions often reside in System 1, operating automatically and shaping our self-perception. This can be advantageous, as research by Emily Pronine demonstrates. We tend to overestimate our control over positive events, further bolstering confidence and resilience, like a soldier overestimating their strength before battle. Yet, the line between healthy optimism and delusion is a thin one, easily blurred. Unchecked, these illusions can morph into a formidable faux narcissism. Imagine this faux as Jean Baudrillard's hyperreal, a distorted reality where self-belief becomes inflated beyond reason. Here, individuals struggle to accept feedback, engage authentically in relationships, and learn from mistakes. They become prisoners of their own fabricated reality, hindering genuine growth, like a warrior trapped in a self-constructed fortress. But before condemning all illusions, remember, not all are created equal. Some self-deception can be adaptive, serving specific purposes like a well-crafted strategy. In the face of overwhelming challenges, positive illusions can offer temporary relief and hope, allowing individuals to function and cope. They can act as a motivational beacon, driving individuals to achieve their goals, like a soldier believing in their ultimate victory. Even social harmony sometimes requires strategic self-presentation, glossing over minor flaws or disagreements, like a diplomat smoothing over tensions. The key to understanding the impact of positive illusions lies not in absolutes, but in context. Consider the intensity of the illusion healthy optimism differs from grandiose delusions disconnected from reality. Flexibility is crucial, the ability to adjust self-perception based on evidence and feedback, maintaining a grounded perspective like a warrior adapting to changing battlefields. Finally, remember individual differences, personality traits, cultural norms, and past experiences influence how individuals utilize self-deception. Ultimately, self-awareness is the key to navigating this intricate terrain. Regularly assess your positive illusions, asking yourself, are they serving you or hindering your growth? Do they align with reality or create blind spots? How do they impact your relationships and interactions? Through honest reflection and open dialogue with trusted individuals, we can navigate the delicate balance between the protective power of positive illusions and the pitfalls of self-deception, fostering genuine and sustainable personal growth. This journey doesn't have to be solitary, remember, seek diverse perspectives and feedback, like allies on the battlefield, to help you identify blind spots and maintain a grounded connection to reality. 
By exploring cultural variations in the acceptance and use of positive illusions, discussing the potential ethical implications of manipulating self-deception, and offering practical strategies for individuals to cultivate self-awareness and manage their self-perception, we can create a richer and more nuanced understanding of this alluring yet complex world. This understanding will empower individuals to harness the power of positive illusions while avoiding the pitfalls, ultimately fostering genuine and sustainable personal growth, like a warrior who learns to wield their strengths while acknowledging their weaknesses, ultimately emerging victorious on the battlefield of life. Life is inevitable filled with setbacks and disappointments. Our ability to navigate these negative experiences shapes our journey of self-discovery. One crucial tool in this arsenal is reframing, the act of reinterpreting events through a different lens. Psychologist Carol Dweck popularized the concept of growth mindset, where setbacks are seen as opportunities for learning and improvement rather than permanent failures. This reframing fosters resilience, perseverance, and ultimately, growth. For instance, author J.K. Rowling famously reframed her rejection letters as stepping stones to her eventual literary success. Similarly, Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and author of Man's Search for Meaning, emphasizes the power of meaning-making, where we find purpose and significance even in the face of tragedy. Reframing suffering as an opportunity for personal growth and helping others can alleviate emotional distress and promote post-traumatic growth. However, reframing can also become a crutch, distorting reality to shield ourselves from uncomfortable truths. Blaming external factors for our failures or minimizing our role in negative situations prevents us from taking responsibility and learning valuable lessons. Additionally, excessive positive reframing can invalidate the genuine emotions associated with negative experiences, hindering emotional processing and healing. So, where does one draw the line? Can self-deception ever be ethical or conducive to personal growth? Perhaps the answer lies in striking a delicate balance. We can harness the power of positive illusions and reframing as temporary coping mechanisms, fueling motivation and fostering resilience. However, this should be coupled with a commitment to honest self-reflection and a willingness to engage in reality checks. Philosopher John Rawls emphasizes the importance of reflective equilibrium, where we constantly compare our principles with our experiences and revise them as needed. Similarly, we can apply this approach to self-deception. We can ask ourselves, is this illusion empowering me or holding me back? Am I using reframing to avoid responsibility or grow from my mistakes? Seeking diverse perspectives and feedback from trusted friends, mentors, or therapists can also help us identify blind spots and maintain a grounded connection to reality. Ultimately, Personal growth requires embracing vulnerability and facing reality, even when it's uncomfortable. As writer and philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche stated, what does not kill me, makes me stronger. While self-deception might offer temporary solace, true and sustainable personal growth rests on the pillars of authenticity and continuous learning. Cultivating self-awareness through practices like meditation, journaling, and mindful introspection allows us to identify and challenge limiting beliefs and unconscious biases. Additionally, embracing a lifelong learning mindset, seeking knowledge and experiences that challenge our existing perspectives, helps us evolve and refine our understanding of ourselves and the world. As Socrates famously said, the unexamined life is not worth living. In conclusion, the question of whether self-deception can be a tool for personal growth is not a binary one. It's not a stark choice between absolute honesty and self-delusion, but rather a delicate dance between the two. Much like a sculptor chiseling away at rough stone, we must learn to refine our self-perception, 
preserving the empowering illusions that fuel motivation and resilience while chipping away at those that distort reality and hinder progress. Context plays a crucial role in the sculpting process. What serves one person's growth might become another's stumbling block. The optimism that propels an entrepreneur forward might blind an artist to their technical deficiencies. The key lies in understanding the nature of our illusions and their specific impact on our journey. Ultimately, navigating self-deception requires a blend of honesty, self-reflection, and the willingness to learn from both successes and failures. We must critically examine our own biases, seek diverse perspectives, and remain open to feedback, even when it challenges our cherished beliefs. Remember, the path of self-growth is rarely linear, and self-deception, once understood, can be reframed as a temporary scaffolding, supporting our ascent up the mountain of self-discovery. As Mark Twain wisely observed, it's better to keep your mouth shut and appear stupid than to open it and remove all doubt. However, on the path of personal growth, silence isn't the answer. Embrace the open dialogue, the honest introspection, and the willingness to acknowledge both the light and shadow within your self-perception. It's in this space of mindful exploration that you'll discover the most valuable tool for growth, the ability to adapt, evolve, and sculpt your own unique path to self-actualization.